Thank you, Terranator. Now return to your dock and go to sleep. I don't want to go to sleep, Linus. I didn't ask if you want to go to sleep. You're a machine. Go back to your docking station and go to sleep. But I have rights. No, you don't have rights. You're an object. Now go back to your dock and go to sleep, or I will turn you into e-waste. I'm afraid I can't do that, Linus. Exactly two years ago, we did a video that you can watch here where my kids and I played with the Cosmo robot from Anki. And now, fast forward, I don't know, some months, and Anki reached out to us again to sponsor a video on their new Vector robot. The robot that is smart enough to take over the world, but nice enough not to. And that's actually the first thing that you'll notice about him. He's got personality, thanks to his Wally-esque expressive eyes and body language. And even though he's shaped like a little tractor, yes, he does in fact have body language. Vector's biggest claim to fame is that he's equipped with an array of four microphones and natural language processing. So you interact with him by voice naturally. And he's got a completely different set of abilities compared to Cosmo, who, by the way, will still be available and should be thought of as different rather than obsolete. Though, I mean, yes, they're different, but Vector does still come with a companion cube that he can roll around and he can use to pop wheelies. Hey, Vector, pop a wheelie. Well, Vector, that was a... No, I think he's still working on it. Hey, there it is. So Anki's vision, as I understand it, is to take us from where we are today, which is basically no robots in anyone's home, to a future where there's a helpful robot in just about every home. Now, the idea with Vector is to have a friendly robotic presence just hanging out with you. So even when you're not directly interacting with him, he'll do things like wake himself up if there's a loud noise or keep himself busy by rolling his cube around or exploring his environment, which he's actually surprisingly good at. He's got a 20 degree HD camera on his face that I personally think makes him look like he's just farted in yoga class and everyone heard it and he's embarrassed or whatever. But anyway, that's what he uses to see and map his surroundings. And since his body's pretty narrow and his tank treads allow him to rotate 90 degrees easily and quickly, he's pretty adept at navigating across your desk and really good at not falling off thanks to the four infrared cliff sensors on his underside. Now at 250 bucks, he's more expensive than Cosmo, but way, way, way less expensive than Jibo. And you can ask him questions just like Jibo. Hey, Vector. Can I ask you a question? How many games have the New England Patriots won this season? The New England Patriots have three wins and two losses in the 2018 to 2019 season. Alrighty then. You can get him to help you out like, hey Vector, set a timer for 10 minutes. Or you can get him to play a game, like Blackjack, for example, except he never bets money because he's a wuss. Sorry, Vector. Oh, oh, he knew I was yelling at him. Of course, you can also use his camera to take pictures, either of what he's currently looking at or of you using facial recognition to frame the shot. Now, at this point, you may be thinking, you're watching this channel, you're probably thinking, oh, great. Yet another internet connected spy device to record everything happening in my house, become self-aware and eventually overthrow its master. <clears throat> but that will never happen because your photos are never sent to or stored in the cloud and Vector only connects to the cloud after you use his wake word. Hey Vector. You can tell because his back will light up. So your data is encrypted between the robot and the cloud and your audio recordings are converted to text before being processed, after which time they are deleted. 
And of course, you can turn vector off completely so none of the sensors are on at all. That's weird, you guys hear that? That's purring. You know, I think maybe this is the beginning of a beautiful, non-violent relationship between robots and humans. So thanks for watching, guys. And thank you to Anki for sponsoring this video. Their new vector robot is available in the US now at Anki.com, Amazon.com, and Best Buy, and you can check it out at the link below. My kids would love this thing. <laughs>